Bad, bro. This cold that just suddenly came, yeah, has dealt with me. No, to be fair, the weather did take a swift change, though. Like, quicker than quick, quick time. Like, man's though. ill, bro. Man is ill. That's crazy. That's, that's that's the only thing I don't miss about the cold. But do you sleep with the windows open? No, but there has to be a draft or yeah, something, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, them ones? Yeah, yeah, we'll get to you, I think bro. I found it today. I found where the draft is coming from, so I'm going to block that today. Boy, I'm ill. Go use that vapor rub or the abonniki on the chest. Yeah, I did have a leaky yesterday, but today, I need to just get the Lemsip and just bang that quickly. Yeah, Lemsip is effective still. Yeah, I just need to bang that quickly. She gets pseudo-fed, bro. Pseudo-fed? Yeah. Where's that? Where's that? It's like, there's different things that, that it helps with. They can do, like, mucus relief, stuff like that, headaches. It's, it bangs, bro. Trust me, what you know what I'm saying? It's a tablet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a tablet? It has, yeah, it's a tablet, and it has, like, it has paracetamol in it. Than other stuff, but bro, it bangs. And like, if you have a sore throat, them ones, it can yeah, it has one for sore throats as well. Oh, is there a difference? Yeah, there's different. Um, it helps with different things. There's one for like. It yeah. helps with different things, but is it one thing or is there there's multiple? One, there's multiple. How do I say it? Forms? Multiple things. It yeah, uh-huh. multiple forms or whatever stuff that it relieves you from. But the yeah. thing is called Sudafed. There's like Sudafed. Oh, Sudafed. Is it like? Is there like Sudafed headaches? Sudafed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sudafed headaches, so Sudafed Sudafed colds, and all that. Um, yeah, so mucus relief. Cold or flu, or like that. Yeah, cold or flu. So that's cold or flu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll that's the one that. I use. I need to bang that. So where'd you get it from? You get it from anywhere. Probably like Boots or something. Boots, yeah, never, Morrison, never, never anywhere. Sudafed. 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 Yeah. It's like pseudo cream. Yeah. Is it the same people? I I've never used pseudo cream in my life, so I wouldn't know. Oh, pseudo cream. I got pounds at that store. Um, if I was spot anything, just bang pseudo cream. I know you started using CMOS at some point. You well, stopped. Why? No difference. Um, I don't know. Maybe I didn't take it long enough to notice any differences. But no, I would. I wouldn't say I noticed any differences. How long you taking it for? Though? I would say I took it for like a month. Maybe. Oh. I thought you would have seen a difference after a month. I'm sure I took it for like a month. And what kind of irritated me is that. Before I was taking the there was like there's like a small version and a bigger version, yeah. Mm. I thought the bigger version would last longer, but it doesn't. It still lasts the same amount of time. Was it tablets or like gummies? No, nah, it's like a gel. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a gel. You take a spoon, you back it quickly. But yeah, they, it lasted. They both last two weeks, but you can't finish the big one in two weeks because it's only you taking it. Mm. So it's like slightly wasted my breath. But yeah, no, nah, I'm not really. I'll become dedicated with it, but right now I just wasn't. I didn't notice anything to become dedicated. I'm be honest. I just been drinking water, you know, mainly. No. That's, that's literally. I need to even change mine up because I don't even. My face cream ran out, my face scrub ran out, and I just vibed. No, I need. Drank water. I need to grab an exfoliate. Mm. I need to grab that an exfoliator. Then I need to. There was something else I needed to do. No, it was mainly that. Because every time I shave at the barbers... You start itching? Not even itching, bro. Like, I get bare um, ingrown. Oh. So they don't come out. You know what I mean? So I always have to get plucked out. I'm a bit particular about them clippers that the barbers use, though, man. So Ma, how often no, do they ma- clean them? No, ma- I'll be real. <laughs> my mom told me... Like, when I was young... Like she specifically she bought us, yeah. and we would literally take it to the barber. Same. Like I hated doing it, but like, I just it had makes to sense though. It made sense though, like, cause you know anyone can actually, man. yeah, anyone can actually. But then again, like, would it make the trim less sharp if you bring your own clippers? Yeah, cause less barbers sharp. actually, barbers actually like sharpen their things in that. I don't think it would be. A... Well, to be honest, back when we were younger, we weren't really getting like the. Yeah, it weren't the, the best most, of you know the best of shape ups and stuff like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so quick, yeah. you can use the same clipper, bro. Just quick, and that's I'll be it. real. There was a barber shop I used to go to in Plumstead that was actually so, like they were actually cold. There was a barber that I actually like. I was like, yo, you're cold. Plumstead, where um, Mala works, the hench one. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what if you didn't go Plumstead for your trims, I don't know where you went. I think everyone used to go Plumstead if you lived in this area. I think you went Plumstead, and they were hard. Yeah, but I can't remember the name of the shop now, bro. It was pissing me off. I think I've even been there myself, you know. I can't remember the name of the shop. I went there once, I think, but that was like probably years after. No, I was I was young. I remember I got a trim. I th- I'm sure I've even said this on story on pod. Mm. I got a trim, 
and the trim was so sharp, people started clapping. What? I was a young guy, though. Oh. But, like, <laughs> ooh, do you know what I mean? I was about to say, what kind of glaze is that, no, man? No, I was young. I was a like, you small boy. Start I was definitely that, a small boy. I was a small boy. But I used to get, I used to get compliments when I was young. About your trims? No, just like about General. my looks. Yeah, like mm. they always used to say, oh yeah, you should go into modeling when you were young. Mm. When I was young. But you didn't? No, I never did. Yeah, I just never did. No, nah, even now, I don't think I would even get into modeling now. I don't think I have the face for it. What? How, what? what have you based that off? Like, of you know current, models? Huh? Yeah, of course models. Models have like that, the cheekbones showing, their face is not, there's no fat. Not all of them, man. But yeah, Those like, are the models that you see on the front page. That's like what? Not even half models, half of models. But right. then again, Damson Idris is a model. <laughs> exactly. There's bare models. There's plus size models. Like there's models for everything. Are you trying to get into modeling? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I could tell. You can tell. Nah, I could tell with the shoot your the sort of push you've been posting. Bro, that picture, the that slide you posted, that wasn't even intentional, you know. <laughs> you look like a model. Uh, like I at least you asked a person, I was sitting down on a chair. And I told him I told him where to stand. I was instructing him that like, no rule of thirds. Oh. Uh, you, you don't know that. No. Do you know about rule of rule of thirds? Yeah. I like you position the camera yeah. like closer to the edge, like you know what I mean? Cool. What? You know what I'm talking what's about? Rule of third? You have to what? So you basically when you're taking a picture, you know the grid that comes up on the on the screen? You've got to position it to the left side. This grid? Yeah. So like you've got to put the person in between like they've got to be in the middle. This middle line, of what? This line's got to go down the middle of their body, so they've got to be to the left side of the screen. So like this? So like this on how Benzo is? Yeah, so you take it like, like there. Nah, too far. Because you've got to be like there kind of thing or a bit further in. Yeah. So it like makes this. a big difference though. It so like this? Yeah. yeah. So now you know how to take pictures? Yeah, bro. Because you know before we were a bit. But that's how you take I the pictures. I was shocked at, yeah, but obviously, but, but the background this, yeah, obviously doesn't change things. But when I was in Berlin flipping um... Dave. <laughs> Dave. Is he the one I taught you? He's the one that showed me. I can't even lie to you. He actually showed me and it made a big difference. I was like, raw, fairs. No, yeah, that pick was close though, bro. I was asking, I was asking, I was asking a person in love. I was asking a person, yeah, do that, do this, do that. And then like, I just started seeing them zoom. I'm like, you know what, let me not react. Let me just carry on. Then I looked at them like, raw, that's kind of hard. Yeah, fairs. it was hard. So I don't even and he even asked me if I'm a model. I said, nah, bro, no, what? I, sh- you know, I, I said no, yeah, but I should have said yes. Because it's not like saying opportunities. No, in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's, so that's what I'm gonna start doing. But no, nah, yeah, no, I, 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 I gave up that modeling thing time ago. But you never know, because you know some models get scouted off the road. Yeah, if they want to scout me, they can. But I'll never try put yourself out there. Yeah, I won't put myself out there as a model. No, that's not, no, not a chance. I just need to. I need to bulk up. I've started shredding for next week. Hmm. Which is, is it? I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed with myself. Why? I should have been in much better shape for this holiday, knowing how long I had to prepare for it. Yeah, it's true. And I, like, I actually became so it's unserious true. with gym. Yeah. And like, my diet is not great at all. But I do feel like I can still at least. You can, you can salvage. I can salvage what I've got right now. Which what's is, something that's good enough? Yeah, I'm not like I'm not in terrible shape. I won't be the worst in shape there. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, but I just feel like I should have been way better. That's why I'm gonna bulk up. I have to bulk up to at least eighty-five kilos. I'm struggling with my diet a little bit, man. I'm not gonna lie. What are you trying to do right now? I wanted to lose fat, so the past month I cut down my gym time, and I was playing probably seventy percent of the time I was playing tennis, and thirty percent of my time I was in the gym. So I lost weight. I lost maybe like five kilos. Bruh. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I looked in the mirror, I was like, raw. I kind of forgot that what I'd been doing was going to affect my body. I was like, I look a bit smaller. Mm. And I asked my mum, do I look slimmer? She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she was saying, even her friends are saying, oh yeah, he looks slim. I was like, raw, okay, maybe he's bait. But I feel like I'm in better shape though. I feel like more athletic. So I'm in the gym now just to build muscle on top of the the fat I've lost just to you know get myself into as shape as possible no yeah you see how all these UFC people when they're doing weight cuts and their yeah. face just goes yeah, mad yeah. they're drained I feel, like I, I feel like I want to drain my face a bit how do they do it though no you just lose overall weight in it and then no, but it... they do it quick sometimes I feel like 
But there must be like a meth that most of them use. I'm not gonna Their lie. thing is just cardio, bro. Like, obviously, they got dietitians and all yeah, that stuff in it. So, like, like it's actually it's very easy when you have these people in place, bro. Like, if you had a chef, yeah, like you bulk up easy, bro. I feel like if I had a chef that was dedicated to cooking my meals, and he knows what you want to do with your body, you yeah, know. I would I would bulk up so easily because I ain't got a problem getting food down. I think you'll see like a difference within like a week. You know, like, I would literally see a diff. Like I would bulk up very quickly if I had a, if I had a chef. It's cutting down my. Str- I think losing weight is hit harder than gaining weight. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Losing weight is harder than gaining weight. Yeah, you actually have to be strict with, with losing weight. weight. You have, to, you have to be yeah, strict. I, I still think it's harder to gain, to be honest. No. Well, obviously, this is a case-by-case case situation, but yeah, I feel like it's harder for me to gain weight. No, for me, because I'm now trying to shred, I've seen how hard it is to actually shred mm. with a good diet. Like, today I've eaten KFC because there was nothing at home and I had to rush to the pod. KFC's not good. At all. Like, at all. Like, at so all. now what am I going to do for the rest of the day? <laughs> do you know what I mean? That is, bro, there was a day last week I I indulged, bro. I think breakfast, I ordered McDonald's, two sausage and egg McMuffins. Mm. Last time I had leftover Chinese. Dinner time, I think I had like KFC or Domino's. I said, this is so No, bad. that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. You paid for all of that's that? A, yeah, it was cool. I did, yeah. But obviously not leftover Chinese, but I was thinking... That is crazy. Nah, there was a point where I was going for a pizza hut phase, bro. Yeah. Bro, every week, I would just grab a large pizza hut. Thing is, yeah, I tell myself I'm active enough to work it off, which is not a good mindset to have because it shouldn't be in your body in the first place. Mm. Or that much anyway. But at the same time, it does help that I do cardio, so... No, yeah, I do cardio now, but it's not running. I don't run. I just... I'll go on treadmill. And I'll just, know. I'll do like a walk for 25 minutes now. Are you ever going to do running? No. Nah. I don't think I will either, you know. No, nah, I'm getting I'm too old for that. What? Yeah, I'm running in the gym, man. I don't care. I'm ever going to run, it's a, I'll do a full marathon and that'll be it. Bro, at the end of the day, innit, like, I ain't really trying to get skinny. Like, she wants, she wants a big dog, innit? She wants a big dog, bro. You don't want no puppy. This is what I was saying, bro. Like, when you get to a certain age, I don't believe you should be of a certain size. You need to have some sort of yeah, bro. mass. Like, I shouldn't be. Like, you know 70 kilos is too small? I don't even remember. I'm not even 70. What is 70 like, kilos? I don't know. Who is 70 kilos? Pricey, apparently. He's 69, but he said he's 70. I'm, I'll give it to him. You let him take 70, but he's 70. Nah, so 70 is too small. It's too small. I want to be at least, I want to be actually like I'll be honest with you like, I want to be eighty five to ninety, yeah. which is mad for me because I was a skinny boy, like to an extent I'm still skinny mad. But you think? Yeah. Do you feel skinny? No, I don't feel it, but I look it. In my opinion, you don't feel it, but you look it. Yeah, I don't feel skinny, but when I look up, like right now when I'm looking at this thing here, the camera, mm-hmm. I don't think I look skinny. Yeah. I don't say I look skinny. Yeah. But. If I'm topless and I'm about to take a pic, I feel like I'll look skinny. Swear. Yeah, like in like one more holiday, I feel like I'll look a bit skinny, you know. No, but I feel like it's it takes a long time to look big while yeah. topless. Yeah, yeah. It nah. takes a long like, time. Like my chest is flat, bro. <laughs> like which is jarring because I've been actually training for how long, bro? I feel like my chest is flat. It's not. It's not. It's not got that round defined yeah, 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 shape. Do you know what I mean? Shape, I ain't got that. Cup, you know which is I mean? mad. Yeah, the cup pause, but yeah. No, it does take long. Chest and legs, bro. Yeah, my quads were growing though when I was doing leg days consistently. My leg, my quads were growing. My calves, you forget calves. that. Well, you can't forget calves. Forget that. Calves don't grow. Forget calves. Forget calves. They don't you grow. You're looking like a what's it? Flipping. Le- look how I like, bro. You see me? Um, from here down, forget about it. So if I feel like naturally, actually no, I got naturally. Do you have small calves? You can have small calves naturally still. No, yeah. Like, if you're doing walking, like if you're walking, a fair amount in the week. I think when you go to the office. Yeah, I'm, I was, I'm actually trying to do like 10k steps a day now. So, like for this week, I'll try and do 10k every day. That will impact your calves, definitely. But it's just, it's mainly purely just so I can shred like as much fat as possible for this holiday. Might even try a stair muscle, you know. Mm, I used to do that, but again, I, I'm not that serious. Is it like, actually mad, like people say? Like, it's just it's just a form of cardio. It's not even crazy. Like, you can bang it. It's not, it's not that deep. 
I think it is that deep. I saw apparently I saw a lady. You no, know, I saw someone talking about a lady that stayed on the top two steps for like forty minutes. That's capped off, bro. You. I don't know what that means because I've never really seen someone do it. I mean, no, that is the step. Depends on like, depends on that the is the step. Yeah, 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 that's the step. I said, oh, but like, yeah, top like, two I, I used to bang step muscle like actually quite often. To be fair, as my cardio. Mm. Before boxing, let me say that. Yeah, before boxing, it was, it was actually Stairmaster. Then I stopped cardio completely after I stopped boxing. Then now I'm just back to just walking. But I only see like 100 and something, 150 calories gone, which is like, that's nothing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like, actually nothing. What's 150 calories? Is that even a chocolate bar? It's Bro, it's mad, less. you know. It's nothing. So that's why you have to be in a calorie deficit. And then the cardio yeah, 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 helps yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always in a calorie deficit, I'll be honest, because nah, I'm not cooking. To be honest, I was actually cooking last week. What did you, you cook? Like oh, steak no, and no. egg, or oh, salmon and salmon. egg. Yeah. Best. Bolognese. And, like, I tried to cut out carbs a bit, but then ugh, all of a sudden carbs is coming back in my diet. Carbs is hard to avoid though, man. Yeah, still. I was trying to replace it with avocado, but... Wow. So it don't taste nice. I'm not really a fan of avocado. Do you know what? If you, if you slap it in... I said it last week as well, isn't it? Like a bagel mm. with salmon, but bagels and carb. egg. You see, I mean, it's hard to avoid, but in moderation, I don't think it's that bad. Mm. Like one bagel with salmon, egg, and avocado in it sounds bad. I do you see Eddie Apple your t- your t- FYP anymore? Nah. I've never even used to see him. My bureau. Same on. Um, but you don't see him no more, do you, bro? This thing is weird, you know. I only saw him on uh, when someone sent him to the GC or something. Oh, my said Sean O'Malley lost. The UFC? Yeah. Sean O'Malley, is he Irish? Sean O'Malley is Sean Irish. O'Malley. No, I don't know, I don't know. He Sean probably O'Malley. has, if he's not Irish, then he's probably... The o- o- is. O'Malley, there's got yeah. to be Saturn in there. What did I want to search now? Yeah, Eddie Abbey, yeah. I literally don't see my man on my thing at all. Kells defeats Big Tops. Well, his diet is nothing to you. Yeah, he knocked him out still. Who the hell's Kells? I don't know who that is. Oh, too got to handle. Kells, oh. where he's from. I was like, I recognise this guy's face, but I don't know yeah, where from. Yeah, too hot to handle still. I remember that. No, yeah, Eddie Abu still posts, you know. So Big Tub's got dealt with just like that. To be fair, I think Big Tub knocked him out, knocked him down in the first round. Bang. <laughs> Short stop, it was out. But the height difference on them is mad, you know. Yeah, he's tall still. He's height difference tall. is mad still. Shine. But that's why I couldn't do, like, a misfit or nothing. Like, man can't be... I actually can't be on the shade, bro, getting knocked out, bro. Like, <laughs> Does it yeah, not depend no. on what you're getting paid, bro? That's pretty real. I would take, I would take a fight against someone I don't know how to beat them. If the paycheck is nice, you'll consider that, though. Let's be nah, real. Nah, I wouldn't take a fight against somebody that I think can beat me. Even if the paycheck is nice? Yeah, but that's like saying, would you fight against Anthony Joshua? Obviously, no, that's extreme, though. That's, oh, that's, 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 no, that's, he's a professional. There's no chance of winning that. What? Because yeah, but fits. the paycheck's nice. No, are you stepping? No, but no, your life's in danger now. Exactly. You, you could die first. You know what I mean? I swear his hands are registered weapons or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's mad. That's but yeah. No, it depends on the person and the weight class. Like Terence Crawford is is uh, he weighs less than me. I would not step in the ring with him. That's a guaranteed knockout. For <laughs> Again, your life is on the line. Oh, oh okay, cool, fair enough. What about professional? Let me talk about professionals. Like. Can you look people, at someone like people in the industry, like for example, like a musician or something like that. Or like yeah, KSI, Machine KSI. Was he a professional? He's, yeah. yeah, he's professional still. KSI is professional, but I think again he's heavier than me, like to quite an extent, you know. But yeah, anyone in like the seventy kilo, seventy to sixty-five to eighty kilo range, because I'll put on or I'll lose the fat. Let's say you had to fight someone like. Actually, nah, he's heavy. He's probably heavy still. But yeah, like, there's bad people out. Like, like Young Philly. Yeah, man, will get in the ring for him, innit? That's probably similar. Actually, nah, I don't know if he's lighter than you. He used to bang Jim, though, you know? So he, he actually got a bit baller, you know? But yeah, I think he lost off. it now, yeah, yeah. But again, like, I was stepping to the ring with Young Philly simply because I feel like he might. He probably is shorter than me. He's not tall. Yeah, he's yeah not so tall. I, like, if he's in the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get in the ring for Young Philly. Well, good check. Oh, someone that you know you have a potential chance. Yeah, potential chance to, like, you get me, have a good fight with, they ain't knocking me out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And 
But again, like this is no disrespect to anything. Do you know what I mean? It's just <laughs> nah, because you know when when people say, "Oh yeah, man, will get in the ring with you," it's like in a way, it's like what are you trying to say? Yeah, you know, like they think. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. 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 For example, I'll step in the ring with Young Philly. I would have stepped into the ring with Harry Panero. I was gonna say him actually. No, I, <laughs> I, per- I personally him. wouldn't. Innit? I would still. I'm not gonna lie. I think I. I don't know. He looks like about my size. Yeah, I think he's, he's tall. Still, he's yeah, like six five. Six five. Can't be six five. Nah. Six. He's like six three to six five. Six three. I'd probably six three. He can't be six five. Still. No, nah, but I'd he's tall. Shocked. Still, he's tall. I'll be shot. Oh, I forgot who I was gonna mention. He's tall. Still. Gonna mention. Who else? Someone yeah. like actually no, nah, he's too. Tall. I'll step in the ring with Danny Aaron because he just he he literally just fought in it. So I think I'll step he? in the ring with him. I don't know how tall he is, but I feel like we could be in the same weight class, maybe. I oh, mean, what's this guy's name? You have had someone that's that's bigger than you, but that's not mobile, like chunks. Because mm. think about it, he's big, yeah, but he's he's. I don't think he's that mobile in it. Yeah, but his bang probably hurt more. Yeah, but he's slow though, isn't it? Still. So, what do you mean? I mean, look at what's his name? Ruiz and Joshua. No, but the thing is, he's a professional and he's big. So he would have learned it's the how same to... principle though. Uh, we don't know that Chunks is bang as hard though, pause. We don't know that for a fact. We're just assuming. Like Ruiz would have trained. That's why his bang is hard. Yeah, but, but you know, based on... Assumptions. Yeah, yeah assumptions, isn't it? I assume that if you're bigger... That you have more weight to, to hit someone with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you probably do, but there's surely technique behind knowing how to shift that weight or like most yeah, of that yeah, weight yeah, into that bang. Yeah, yeah I, I hear like, what you're saying. Because most of these influencers, they, they, like, I hate watching their fights because they don't, they fight, like, they'll, they'll throw the their hands. They, yeah, they don't even box. They just. Try wacky travel of gloves, like that makes sense. Even KSI and all them, man. I don't like the only good fire, I'd say Jake Paul's decent, Tommy Fury is okay, and yeah, that's it. Who's Jake Paul fighting next? Um, fucking Mike Tyson or something. He's not, not Mayweather, sorry, Mike Tyson, yeah, yeah. Tyson. But okay. I don't know. Hmm? Like, like, why? Like, oh, that's uh, a paycheck, bro. That's yeah. a straight paycheck. Bro. That's just, a straight paycheck. Just to make sense. But it's like, do you think Myson's taking a paycheck to lose? That's the thing. I don't know. I don't uh, think he cares anymore. I just don't think he cares. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah he's there, not the same. Bro. Yeah. He's not the same. Like, even if he though. loses, no one's gonna think. Oh, he's like. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no one's gonna tell. No, but if he loses, like. He's fifty something. Bro. Yeah, but even then, like, I feel people are just gonna clock onto this whole, like, fully gonna clock onto how all of this is just fake now. I think most people should already know that it's fake. Oh, but should, people but that he's been fighting, but wait, who did he fight? Jake Paul. Yeah, who's he fought before? Tommy, I think. He fought Tommy just now, innit? Yeah, but didn't he lose? Yeah, he did lose. He's fought KSI. Who he? fought, um, is it John Jones? Who fought John Jones? John Jones? Not John Jones. Who am I thinking of? Someone had a UFC fight. Uh, what's that there was name? a UFC guy that fought. What's that guy's name? The UFC guy that fought. That boxed. I've forgotten his name as well. I know you're talking about Francis Gunn. No. No, 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 no. This is not not professional. That fought did Jake Paul not fight him or my bugging out? Um Wait, who are you talking about? What are you talking Jake, about? Jake, Jake Paul, Paul fighting fights. who he's fought. He's fought someone from the UFC before. I swear he's like he's got like a Mexican name or it's like a Spanish name, I think. It's come to my head. Uh, <sighs> what, Nate Diaz? No, 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 I'm who sure he yeah, fought. Nate Was Diaz, it Nate? No, 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 no. Was it Nate Diaz? Nah. I'm sure he has for Dave Diaz, but I can't remember. Jake Paul. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really tune. I didn't tune into all these them ones. I just felt like it was just rubbish, and I felt like they were all faking it. Anderson Silva or Tyron Woodley is one of those. Woodley, two. Woodley, 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 yeah, Woodley, yeah, Woodley. yeah. Woodley took a paycheck. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Woodley took a paycheck. That's for sure. Nah, that's, that's for sure. He took a paycheck. Damn, it's still no no. Fifty four minutes. Someone's going to score, though. And I felt like it was an even game, Arsenal Tottenham. It was an even game. They can't afford to draw that game. What's yeah. the stat saying? I feel like it was an even. Six shots v five. Tottenham, 66% possession. Yeah, it was even, though. Well, Tottenham was just a bit on top. Yeah, well, Arsenal were never going to control that midfield, bro. Yeah. yeah. Was it Partey, Jorginho, Trossard? Yeah. Mm. Isn't it Havertz? Oh, Havertz, I don't know. Oh, he's up front. Oh, so he's playing up front. Trust Trust hard. Hard. Oh, oh, maybe they're just interchanging. Yeah, yeah. they're going to change, to be fair. I even thought that... What's his name? 
Ranieri was gonna start. Yeah, so did I. There was rumors that. Is he? Okay. What was your, what was the fashion trip to, um, thing you went to saying? So, I went to one on Friday. That was more of an uh, an official event, invite only, and I got that ticket because my friend who works in fashion couldn't make it. So then she reallocated the ticket to me. That was in oof, Lancaster Gate, somewhere far along the central line. Got there now, and I didn't get a seat, unfortunately, so I wasn't inside the actual main venue, so I got taken to the balcony. But how they did it, the models were walking through the building and outside as well, so we all saw what they were wearing. But that was dope still, not gonna lie. That was dope. First event, spoke to a lot of people. And actually, the only reason I spoke to people was because they came up to me. Like, I was mad at my business right at the back, just watching everything that was going on. And then some like some women just came up to me talking about, Oh, do you work in fashion? Are you a model XYZ? What's your Instagram? Just yeah, like Yeah. Yeah, they were dope. That was a good event. And then Saturday was a paid, it was a, a public event that we paid tickets for in London Stadium, West Ham Stadium. And I wasn't sure what to expect, I'm not going to lie. Because mm. you know, because it's fashion week, fair enough, but you would think that the invite only events are the ones that are guaranteed to be quality and the ones that are open to the public are like mm, leftovers, is then I'm going to turn up. But I can't lie, it's a quality turnout still. There's a lot of people there. And yeah, again, met more people, spoke to some of the models afterwards. Again, more networking. And again, Folly was there networking as well, good jewelry brand. It's dope still. Then, the best part of the night, one of these lot were like, oh, let's go to this after party. There's a, a shop called, a brand called Helen Anthony that are opening their store in Mayfair. So then we popped on the underground. 20 minutes now. Yeah, 20 minutes on the Lizzie line. Five minutes from the station. Gone to this function now. And I was like, rah. The thing is, yeah, they said it was going to pop off. And I walked in there and half of the room was empty. And it still wasn't dead. It's gonna, it sounds weird, isn't it? Like mm. Half of the room was just space. But it was still a vibe somehow. And then upstairs, the, the collection was there. Pieces hung up, I think. Did I post any? Yeah, there's a couple of my, in the last two slides, I think, of my dump. And, yeah, so, free tequila at the bar. <sighs> Unlimited. I was like, Fez. There was loads of people in the room I was talking to. Loads of stylists, models. Yeah. It made me think that, damn, like, I'm here trying to get into an event, and then one girl was showing me like 20 different events. She's got too many events to even attend for fashion. I'm like, bro, like, how do I get there? You know what I mean? Like, it's I like, bro, the difference is actually mad. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. Then she was giving me tips, giving me gems. So yeah, it was overall. But well, she works in it or what? She's a stylist. Oh, okay. See. There was bare stylists in there. Bare stylists in there. I mean, that's, yeah, what most people were doing in there. So yeah, it was um good weekend still. Do you think people that aren't into fashion like that would enjoy it though? No. Okay. No, I don't think so. I think, well, it depends which part you're talking about. If you're sitting front row at a show, then yeah, most people will enjoy that still. What is it most though? I don't, that's the thing. It's just them walking out and you're just looking yeah, at Yeah, it's basically, so yesterday was basically maybe 10 brands. The show was split into two halves, one before the intermission, one after. So first half was maybe five different brands, obviously one at a time. And it'd be like six models walking up and down the runway, sporting whatever the designer wants to display. Six different outfits or whatever. You know, all the way up, all the way down, and then all the photographers at the end, they walk out and then announce as it calls out the next brand. Might be some of the same models if they've been called by the same brand up and down the runway. Six tall. It's dope. I think the part that people who aren't into fashion wouldn't like is maybe... The networking part, or maybe the event I went to last in Mayfair. I don't think, for example, 
myself two years ago in that same function, I wouldn't have been comfortable there. Mm. Purely because of what I was wearing, that I was probably more, to be honest, more judgmental back then. Because I'd be like, what are you wearing, bro? But yeah. now, I get it. That it never runs from a man seeing someone's fit and thinking, bro, what are you wearing? I'm thinking, bro, if you think that looks hard, do you know what I mean? If I rate it, I rate it. If I don't, I don't. But what, what, it doesn't matter what, what I think. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. So, yeah, I saw loads of different outfits. Even, like, drew some inspiration from some people's outfits, can't I? So, would you say, would you still agree with, like, the opinion we used to have of, if you have unlimited money, you'll, you'll be able to dress better? Or do you think it's just a thing of... Nah. Nah. I don't think... The only reason I think money would help you dress better is because you can afford a good stylist. I feel like, for the most part, dressing good is just down to the individual. Like, you have to just know what to put together, I believe, anyway, because there's too many people that aren't rich that are dressing absolutely incredibly. So that goes against the point of having the most money and being able to dress the best. You know what I mean? I feel like it's something you just have to develop, whether that's, I don't know, drawing inspiration from TV shows or models or magazines or whatever it is. Yeah, I think for the most part, it's just got to be natural. Like, I, I was even thinking of that conversation we had when we said, do we think that our best, our best in terms of how we dress can be achieved by us or do we think we need a stylist to take us to that next level? And you said that you think a stylist mm. being brought in will take you to that next level. Do you still agree with that? Yeah. You think? Yeah. I think if you have a stylist, man, you, you, you don't have bragging rights anymore. I feel like if you've got a stylist, maybe... They might, they might give you more range. They might give you a fit you wouldn't have thought of. And for the most part, they might, they might better your dress sense. But I feel like there's a group of people who... It's just within you, bro. I can't lie. Like, you, can't dress, you can't dress me better than I can dress myself. I don't believe that. That's just how I see it. And the stylist, I think, is the same thing. That's how I think. I'd just, because think about it. The person that's styling you... They don't have two heads, bro. I can't, they don't have two heads. Where have they got the inspiration from? Yeah, it's just it's somewhere like, different that you might not have seen. Do is though with creativity, yeah, you can be as creative to a certain point, but there's just people that are just naturally, yeah, of a certain level. Yeah, it's true. like their creativity is just like different. Yeah, you know what I mean like like people that can write movies. Yeah, their creativity is on another level. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah like. It, our our thought processes would never reach their level. I personally think, in terms of like people that write movies or in the creative industry, like people that like artists, for example, they see something that we just don't see, and I just think that's just with like. I was in like artists that paint. And yeah, stuff. people that paint. Do you know what I mean? Or people that make music. They're like people that can freestyle, for example. Their the way their brain ticks don't tick like how man ticks because I can't freestyle to save my life. Do you know what? I don't think that makes them more talented than you. I think that just means that they've seen things you haven't. They might be more well travelled. That might be the difference, bro. Like, that's that's generally what I think. Because again, they're just a human being that's written a film or they're painting a picture. That could be from something they saw on holiday in in Japan or in Poland or in Denmark. No, no, I, I don't agree. I feel like like. There's certain people that are born to do this. Do you know what I mean? And for example, Dave. Yeah. You can be the best. You can think you're very cold or whatever and that you can spit. But you just aren't reaching this level. I think, okay. Like, you're, talking so, about, like, you're talking about the top of the, top of the top game. Top of the game. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Top of the game. Like, you're just like, you can be good, but you're not reaching that level. I feel like. It's just yeah. not, in, it's not within you. There are a few people who naturally, that's their destiny. Yeah. I think those are the, Crop, um, what's it? What's cream of the crop. Yeah, cream of the crop. Those are the top of the game, top of, top of the um, industry in all industries. But for the most part, everyone that's just a good actor or a good painter or a good artist or a good whatever it is, they're not better than the average person. I don't believe that. They're better in that field. They're better in that aspect. They're better in that aspect because they've done it for longer. <clears throat> think, think about think about it like this. A good actor. I don't know. Give me an example. A good actor. 
Just, just, just standard, just standard. No, 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 You just said. <laughs> 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 I'm about to say, give me a good average. Just, average. just give me a good average. But I said DiCaprio. Mm. I don't know. No, okay, average. let's let's use. Use. What's the guy from um the 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 short film with Zendaya? Denzel the Washington's short film. son. Oh um, uh, John John David Jonathan David Washington. Oh what his son? Yeah, yeah. John two, David Washington. He has two that though. Does he or what does one produce? Bro? Oh, Arsenal scored. Oh, oh, fuck's sake. The, well, that one's a producer? I'm pretty sure. Oh, right. Or they both produce, but one of them acts as well. Right, the one that acts. The one that was with the, the Zendaya film. Yeah, John David Washington. Yeah, him. I think he's a good actor. Yeah. I feel like if I go through my phone book, I'm sure, I'm sure there's at least five, ten people. If they applied themselves... If they applied themselves and they wanted to act, I'm sure they could get somewhere, somewhere near that level, bro. I'm sure if they wanted to and they put everything into it, of course. But they're not getting the same opportunities as him. They might not. Same they, because of his sense. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Opportunities. But in terms of actual ability, I'm sure they could match him. I'm sure. Think about it. Most of these guys that are just good, all they've done, the only difference between you and them is they've just they put more time into it, yeah. bro. Like, that's, that's literally it. I don't know. That's like, literally it. Like, for me, yeah. Natural ability is still the best thing, in my opinion. So, for example, with dancing, yeah, cool. I'm gonna use names, for example. This is my opinion. I'm not disrespecting anyone. We see Zay's, yeah, he can dance, mm -hmm. but I would never say he can dance at the level of NK. And that's no glaze, but NK you can see is natural in him. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Zay's is more like he's learnt to dance. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with any other craft. I feel like some people, people that learn to do it. Over time, I'm not going to say the Zays can't get to that level of NK. And I'm not saying NK is on some high level. And I don't even like that fact that I'm name dropping. Do you know what I mean? But mm. like, give examples. Though, yeah. That's the example I, I could think of. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like with natural ability people, it's just in them. Like they just yeah. can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we know of a dancer that back in the day, like she can just naturally dance. Like, mm -hmm. and that's just it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just... Whereas people that learn over time, yeah, you can get to a good level, but can you ever get to the level of someone that's naturally good at dancing? I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Like, have you seen that, in terms of fashion, have you seen that um, Wisdom guy? Yeah. Yeah, like... That's natural. Exactly. That's natural. And I'm not, I'm not saying no one could get to that level, but bro, people, I, I, no, people could... I, I don't know, innit? No, nah, they definitely can. They definitely nah. Can. I've never heard this, of him. Uh, I always talk about Mark, um, Wisdom, innit? He's a stylist. Well, he's he's multi-purpose, bro. He's everything to do with fashion, innit? But he's bait. He's, he's American, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, he's natural when it comes to fashion. Not like it's that. like, I could try my, I could dive into the fashion world and try my best to, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get my style to that level. But I just feel like to him, it just comes natural. Yeah. Yeah. And to the people it comes natural to, they aren't the majority of many industries, I don't think. Like the industry is filled up with people who have learned how to become good, I believe. Mm -hmm. Look at football. Messi's born to do that. Mm -hmm. But most footballers aren't... Okay, they're gifted, but Messi's natural ability is, is a different level. Most mm -hmm. of them, it's repetition. I'm not, I was put on that pitch, that's why they're that good. Yeah, but people... Okay, name a footballer that has worked to get to that level that is better than Neymar. Ronaldo? No. Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo's natural talent and Messi's natural talent are... Worlds apart. I'm not going to lie. The world's apart. You can see that Ronaldo's just worked and worked and worked and worked. Ronaldo's not a off. pure... It's not better than Neymar as a pure footballer. Overall. He's just better than Neymar. He's better at goal scoring. You don't think Ronaldo's better than Neymar? No. Not on the ball. As in like best and best. As in best ever and best ever. Like on the ball, I don't think Ronaldo's better than no, Neymar. No, 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 okay. That would be... Neymar, no, per, that's just my opinion, and don't like, you get the me, thing is, yeah, you, you can. You I I, pr I prefer Neymar, but why do you prefer Neymar? Why do you prefer Neymar? Though? That's because because he's just like to see because he's history. silkier. He's yeah. silkier than Ronaldo. Like they can both do a Ronaldo chop. Neymar's will look better than Ronaldo's, bro. Yeah, but Ronaldo's more effective though. Ronaldo's but that's what I'm saying because he's better at goal scoring. Yeah, he, he's not a more yeah, effective I, dribbler than Neymar. No. Okay, but the thing is with dribbling, yeah. Everyone thinks that Ronaldo was bad at dribbling. Ronaldo no, Ronaldo's was not bad. Ronaldo's dribbling, not bad. He's not bad. He's not bad. But he's just not Neymar. He's not Messi. He's not Ronaldo. He's not. Neymar. And these, those three are pure. I don't have to. No, yeah, to yeah, yeah. But they're purists. better. Yeah, 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 yeah they're yeah, purists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And purists will always just look better than 
The people yeah. that look better. That's why I look at Mares for example. Look better because it's just natural to them. Yeah. There's not much training. Yeah. Yeah. But Ronaldo, you can make a case that Ronaldo's better than Neymar and he's just worked. It's not natural talent or some of it's natural talent. But for wait, the most wait, wait. Part, you can make a case that Ronaldo's better than Neymar for dribbling. Balls. Overall. No, overall. overall he's better than Neymar. Like That's just, that's my point. That's bottom, like. And he's worked. He's got less natural talent and okay. he's better than Neymar. Fair enough. Yeah. Do you know what well, I mean? He's not better than Messi. Uh, no, no, that's not even worth talking about. Yeah, really? <laughs> exactly. So like, that's, that's, that's exactly my point. Like when people have natural talent, like anyone that goes into football doesn't try, they don't try to get to the level of Messi. They, they, they know to. Ronaldo's more attainable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like even what, Mbappe. What I'm saying is the guys who are naturally good are the minority. Yeah. The majority is people that have just learned to become good. Yeah, but the best of the best, the ones that you will say are the best, yeah, are the naturalists. Oh, the naturalists. Yeah. The naturals. The yeah. naturals, yeah. And you can't get to the level. Yeah, and you just can't attain that Unless level. you have that natural ability. Yeah, yeah you're born with Think this. about it, though. You don't know what you're naturally good at until you've tried everything or tried a lot of things. Yeah, no. true. But naturally... True. No, no, no. I think, like, it just falls in your lap, bro. No, nah. not necessarily. Like, how... Like, bro... Nah, yeah. Like, bro, look at Jamie Vardy, bro. Like... Yeah. He started playing football at what, what age? He was old. Like, yeah. 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 He was playing pop football and then suddenly he's a prem footballer winning yeah. Premier League title. right. I think he got started at like 23 or something like that. Yeah. It doesn't always fall in your lap. Yeah. It doesn't always, it doesn't fall, always in fall in your lap, bro. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to go out searching and then you get me, you get a little nudge. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's not always just going to... But I do, I do think that you'll have time to realise whether or not you're natural at something. Do you know what I'm saying? You can try as much as you want to. Yeah. Yeah, you can still enjoy it. You can still go forth in it, but you, you can come to the realisation, okay, some other, some people are more naturally gifted than me at, than, this. Than me at this. Yeah, 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 you can accept that and still be a very, very respected and you can still be very good in your field while yeah. doing that. which is why I say you don't need a stylist. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's just about what you're comfortable with, to be honest. Like if you if you're comfortable in knowing that there's people that are naturally just better than me at this, yeah, then it's calm, isn't it? Obviously, you still want to be like you can still have the goal of wanting to be the best, but you know that because you're not naturally gifted, you have to work ten times harder. Yeah, but you still have to think like you could be the best. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Why course, you, yeah. I'm sure, short, innit? I, I don't, think, I don't think, like you're full short. I feel like Ronaldo's is delusion. So you he have to be, though. You he needs to. the statistics <laughs> to also back him. That's the thing. But he, in bro. his heart, no, in fact, I can't even say in his heart because he's <laughs> deluded himself into bro, thinking. If he wasn't that delusional, he wouldn't have got to where he got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you well, need like, that delusion. But the delusion is that he's better than Messi. But deep down inside, deep down inside, he knows he's not. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. About no, that. no, I, I, I generally don't know you. Know but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. The delusion can actually make you go crazy. Yeah, of course. But like, if watching them both, you know who's better, and that's just point blank period. I think, yeah. But like I just said, if he if he genuinely doesn't believe he's better than Messi, and never did, he wouldn't have won anywhere near the amount of Ballon d'Ors he won. No, yeah, yeah. he ge- no, he generally believes he's better, and he's that's, got to, that's he's kudos got to, to him. Still, isn't it? Like, to I would well, never knock him for that. That's a that's a crazy level of delusion, though. I can't lie. Respectfully, but, res- but like, fair enough. Like he's he's done what he needs to do, f- so like yeah, and he's still going. Get he's the trying, respect. I think he's trying to get one thousand goals, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like Jordan, but the thing is close. Jordan and Mes- um, Le- LeBron, oh, first, yeah. I feel like that's closer than that's Messi yeah. and Ronaldo. Yeah, because they're both naturally yeah. gifted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they're both gifted. naturally ballers, and it's like you actually don't know who's better. Mm. Like it's actually a conversation. Me personally, I was a Jordan guy, then, but. I think that's just... At what? You weren't even alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm a Jordan guy, isn't it? I'm like, Why? Oh, shoes wise. No, no, no. Just no, come no. To <laughs> basketball. No, yeah. basketball, bro. Like, I just think Jordan's better, isn't it? What? I don't know. I just think he's better. He's Why? won more. He's won more finals. Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, then. Jordan's won all the finals. Jordan's never lost a the final. Then, then there we go. No, it can't be about there we go. Oh, but no, LeBron's actually. Ronaldo's won LeBron's more actually cold league. though. LeBron's I'll be honest, but like, there's there's things that LeBron can do that Jordan can't do. LeBron's better at more things. I'm not gonna yeah. Lie. Yeah, that's a fact. He's more yeah. rounder, factually. Yeah. Jordan's going to win you the game. Yeah, Jordan could be talking LeBron, though. I'm talking LeBron. Talking LeBron. LeBron's lost. Yeah, he has. That's, but that's, don't get me wrong. I, 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 ain't, I ain't about to go and say Jordan had help, though. Basketball. Jordan had help all those years. All those years. LeBron's got help. help every LeBron year, had bro. help, man. LeBron has not had help. What do you mean? Which, which year mean? did not His help? first, his um, Cavs, that Kyrie, championship. Kyrie. Oh, my. That's when um, 
Who was the who was the power forward there? Was yeah, it not Thompson? Tristan, something Thompson, Tristan maybe? Thompson, Tristan Thompson. No, he was the same. No, 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 not Thompson. It was um, he was a white guy. Um, Kevin, Kevin Love. Kevin Love. Love. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Love. Help. What do you mean? Love was compared to, Love was sick back then. Dennis like, Rodman, Scottie Pippen. Look at the players I'm mentioning compared to who? Tristan yeah, Thompson they, and Kevin Love. Yeah, they both no, had Kevin help. Kevin Love was sick back then. Kevin Love was sick. Bro, he's not Scottie Pippen level. Let's be honest. He was he was one of the best free shoot three point shooters in the league at that point. Bro, Scottie Pippen doesn't matter. He had help. No, he didn't, bro. So you're, you're saying LeBron like, did cool. not have help. He wasn't help. playing with bums. Cool, but... Yeah, he's Jordan always had help. help. Every, single, every single year. LeBron had yeah, help, bro. Year. It's not the same. LeBron had help at Miami. He had help at Cavs. Had help at Lakers. Mm. He had help at the he Lakers, He had one bro. player at Lakers. He had, he had AD at the Lakers. That was one player. Still help. Still help. Jordan had a whole team. There's a different... A whole team, bro. Nah. It's what still help, man. It's still help. And he what? He went to the finals ten years in a row or something like that. Or not ten years in a row, but he's been to ten finals. And how many has he won? How many? Four, five. Jordan, LeBron has five rings. Four at least. It's four or five. No, it's four because no, Kobe's got five. Four. Yeah, because yeah. Kobe's got five. That's four. Because LeBron, I mean Jordan has six. Yeah. Jordan has six, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did three beats twice. Yeah. Kobe's yeah, got Jordan's five. Better, man. He's Jordan's not better. better. He's more accomplished in terms of championships, but he's not better. Ronaldo's got more ch- UCLs than Messi. So what does that mean? <laughs> Messi got how many more Ballon d'Ors? Right. Yeah, but that's an individual award. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The championships aren't an individual. It's a, it's a team award, bro. Yeah. Okay. How many finals? So if we look at MVPs, if LeBron's got more MVPs, but what does that mean for Jordan? Who's then? got fan, more finals MVPs? But then oh, again, that's because of he's that's because he's been there more. All oh, right. Oh, <laughs> right, it's not even he's actually MVP. LeBron's played over many more years as well. And like, finals MVPs is so like um, biased skewed. as well, yeah, because it's only compare it's only including that two game. teams, yeah. yeah. If you do like MVP season, season yeah. MVP, yeah, who's got more? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. LeBron's played over many, how many more years than Jordan though? So that's another point for LeBron over Jordan still. Longevity. Longevity. Yeah, factually, factually, nah. bro. Nah, factually, what? But did you not see um that shits and gigs thing that was going on? The game? No. Oh, you're talking, oh, you're talking about the, the Atlanta thing? Yeah, the Atlanta thing still. It was crazy still. What, what, they said that Atlanta has no... No, they... That's wild though, I'm not going to lie, man. That's Is that what they're getting backlash for? Yeah. Come on. Because they're saying that Atlanta's like the black city, the black capital yeah. of America. So how can there be no laying black girls in Atlanta? Yeah, they... I, I, I don't believe that either. Yeah, that, it doesn't make any sense. That there's no black... Um, there, there's yeah, no, yeah. There's, there's no black there. That doesn't make any sense, bro. That doesn't make any sense, That doesn't make any sense. sense. Um, but do you mean, though, like, how long were they there for? Or how long have they been there for? Because, like, it's like us, like, let's say we travel to... I don't know. Let me just use Germany because that's where we went. Let's say we went to Germany now for three days. I was like, right, we, we didn't see no good thing. See what I mean? Didn't know where to find them. Yeah. So but they... then it's now stemmed, it's now gone into a thing of, nah, these lot like white girls are new. Oh, bro, is that bro. what's going on now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fairs. Yeah. I, watched, I watched that podcast episode still yesterday. Oh, you watched the full thing? Nah, I stopped after like an hour and 10. It was an hour and 27. What did they say? No, it was just a meaty episode. It was just meaty. Nah. So that was the best bit of the episode? <laughs> no, nah, like, there that was nothing best. good about the episode. Right. I'll keep it. But I feel like, but then again, I feel like it's because, you see, I, like, I feel like I can tell very clearly what sort of guys people are, in it, And they're not, they weren't, they couldn't mess with the American girls. That's just how I saw it. Okay, poor, yeah, yeah. poor man, okay. poor man. Oh. Poor man's, poor man's. Poor man's, poor man's, yeah. Yeah. They they didn't really mess with them like that, but like because when, when I watched them on free shots, it was way better. Oh yes, you're right. Yes, facts. That's it facts. was way that's better. That's facts. Yeah, the episode yeah, was yeah, way yeah. way better. Yeah, so I just feel like yeah, they yeah. just weren't good guests. I'll be honest, because nah, yeah, I've watched them on two episodes and like it's true. It's like it's true. Not that I had they had to force conversation. Bearing in mind, disclaimer for them in it, they said that they were hungover in it. Um, but well, like I feel like that's not really an excuse. I mean, like they weren't trying to do the shots thing. Like they were saying, uh-huh. they were playing a game like they weren't trying to do shots, so they were just like, oh, they'll just take a sip of their drink. Uh, but yeah. No, I do remember thinking that that no, yeah, on three I shots they were the best. Still. Bro, that episode was cold. Even better than nineties, I can't lie. I watched it start. To, oh, it was, they were nineties. Yeah, they were all nineties, innit? And it was still not as good as three shots ones. No, yeah, three shots was cold. Too. I think that's where Marvin Taser just. I think that's where they just edge it above them, man, yeah, because yeah. of like how they are as people, innit? Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah still, I, uh, yeah. That's just that's just my thoughts on that still. But they, I think they're doing a tour. They're still doing that again. Tour. I, I don't know when the episode. The episode only came out recently, but they're still. They said they're on tour. So I don't know if they're still on tour currently or what. But they're in Atlanta. Yeah, they're currently in Atlanta. But yeah, I don't know. Me personally, I feel like if you ain't got the. If you feel like you aren't, you aren't going to mesh on a collab, then just don't do it. Yeah, but <clears throat> I think we've spoken about it before where they've probably got to a point where collabs aren't even in their hands. It's to do with their managers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, because so, they're on the tour, so they're just doing you know different... Mean? So they probably pods. wouldn't have even known up until maybe like a couple of days before that they were going to be there or something like that. I don't know. No, to be fair, because they came to the show. Four oh, months came to... Um, live show? Their live show, yeah. Swear. Yeah, they said they went. Oh, that's... I don't know. And... Apparently with shits and gigs now. Also, I feel like this was bait, but like a lot of them, their followers are or their supporters are girls, isn't it? Black girls. Black girls. Yeah. So wow. they're like, ah, oh. that when they were at the show, that like, was just like, that. I can't remember. James was basically saying like, oh yeah, like he wouldn't want his girl to come to a a shits and gigs live show, or he wouldn't want to go with his girl to a shits and gigs live show because of how it is. Like it's just girls fan girl and over them. <laughs> you know what I mean, man, that's like that's like saying you like if you were a rapper, you wouldn't want to bring your girl to a show because of all the girls fan going over you, bro. Yeah, like what? I, don't yeah. Think that makes sense. I just felt like it was just a bit. The episode was a bit forced. I, yeah, it was just forced. It was, <sighs> a, it was a bit forced. I wouldn't even. Like, I didn't really enjoy it. I, I kind of no, nah, it doesn't really shock me, but I would have thought that when you get to a certain point, content. By any means, shouldn't be forced. Still, like you should be, you should be polished within your craft to the point at which forced combo sh- just doesn't exist. I don't know, like, like I would even say it was forced, like, but like maybe it's cause of like how the their setup of a podcast is like they have to do, a, they have like topics structure. and a structure to it. Do you know what I mean? Whereas with free shots, there's no structure. There's no structure. They're just talking, like. Anything can come with well So I feel like that's why they messed well. But like on this one, it was more a thing of there was topics. So it's like, okay, that's the end of that topic. Let's go to the next. Mm. Maybe that's maybe that's what I didn't mess with. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, but I, I just, I just felt like it weren't really that great. I, I don't it weren't like that great it. still. Madam Dress was even there as well. She collabed with Poor Minds. Minds. Yeah, still. Was that one better? You didn't watch it? I ain't watched that one yet still. I might, I might tune into that. I don't really like watching all girl polls though. Yeah. Like, nah, it's too I'm one-sided, not. isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'm just eavesdropping on girls' convo, innit? So. To be fair though, receipts, you got some quality content though, I'm not going to lie. Nah, to I've you. never been a receipts guy still. Nah, they, Tully and, Tully and Audrey do their thing still. Are they like, still good? Like, like, yeah, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, like if it's dropping from three to two, like, I, want, I just wonder how it would be. Like, like, the like, thing is, the dynamic yeah, now. It's like free shots though. Because... I think with receipts, the majority of the chemistry lied between Audrey and Tolly anyway. And with three shots, I still feel like the majority of the chemistry was Marvin, lied between yeah, yeah. Taze and Marvin, innit? So I feel like if, if Taze left, it wouldn't be the same. Or if Marvin left, it wouldn't be, it would, wouldn't be the same, innit? It's mad, though. It's mad. Still. The fact that keith has gone and he's still, like, no one sees him. He hasn't, he hasn't posted since that post. Yeah, I, I don't see him. He hasn't posted. Maybe think, he's got a restaurant or something. I don't know. Maybe he's just working on some sort of whatever, bro. I don't know. Home, man. It's it's home. What about that um that shy cut shy cut you? Mm. Am, am I seeing I'm seeing her song on TikTok, isn't it? Is it yo, 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 yo? yo oh, is yo. that what that is? Apparently, yeah. I've I've never yeah, played yeah, a volume, yeah. bro. I just... <laughs> it's not out, it's not out. <laughs> oh no, but any any time I see it, like is it not is it a small clip, doesn't it like have volume or say what the song is? No, it has volume. Oh, like, yeah, you're hitting, enough, yeah, bro, it has volume. You just turn your thing up, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> nah, I, thought was, uh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a meme or something. I don't even know. Nah, I feel yeah, like they made it a meme. Song. I feel yeah. like they made it a meme now. Oh. In terms of like, there's memes with the song behind it, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't even know it was a uh, an actual song. I just saw yo 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 Shy Carty. I thought it was just like a like a viral snippet or something like that. No, she has a viral snippet going on because uh, she made a TikTok to the song. Yeah. Of she was in the background. Then, like, yeah, it went viral, innit? Shy Carty, yeah. She's not the one that was in that show, Top Boy. No. No, no. no that's, that's, that's um, Chris, 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 Chris. I can't lie, I thought that was who it was, though. I'm, I don't know who, I don't know what her face looks like then. 
Well, was that? Uh, yeah, she posted it. Let me show you, man. But she got 30k likes. And likes? Yeah, and better artists with it. Blanco's in it, Skane Doll, Nems, Heady One. What, in the song? The comments. No, in the oh, comments. In the comments. <laughs> but yeah, there's quite a few people in it. You think that's hard? No. Okay, I thought, I thought I was going to But that's just crazy. my opinion. Yeah. Again, like, I was thinking all those names in she the did, comments. She, she did the other song as well, though. What's what? the other one? Oh, oh my days gonna vex me. I won't remember it. I don't remember how it goes. Um, yo, yo. I think yo, it's just yo. catchy that yo, yo, yo part. Yeah, that that part is catchy. Facts. But like for me, it's just like I don't really. I'm bossed up. Something. Yeah, yeah. How, I don't remember how it goes, but there's gotta be a, like a sound. No. But I feel like that's just her flow. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just it. And I just don't really mess with it, innit? Yes. Oh, my days. Where is it, man? Okay. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that still. I've heard that. But, yeah, that's her flow, innit? So, I feel yeah. like from there, I just don't really mess with the flow like that too tough. I, I ain't going to say she's a bad artist, because I don't think she's bad at all. It's just... You know when an artist just isn't for you? I mean, maybe if I listen to her more in it, maybe it will change. But for now, I that that yo 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 thing, I don't, I don't, I just didn't, I didn't mess with it. Still, I'll be honest. Nah, but do you mean that like, each of their own? Nah, I wouldn't say she's bad at all. Do you think? Do you do you might think you're growing less judgmental as you're getting older? That's literally what I like. I think like I've just displayed that right now. Yeah. With song. Do you know I mean that's, like, that's I, why I asked? Like, that. do you know I mean like I would never say stop doing music. It's just. Yeah, so it's just, I'm, I wouldn't listen to it. I'm getting to the point where I'll see certain things and I'll catch myself thinking two years ago I would have been solid you. Mm. I would have mocked you for that. Mm. And now I'm like, Fez, do your thing. No, I just don't care. Just don't no, care. yeah, I just don't yeah, care. Like, don't, I feel like that's what I've got to. It. I feel like that's what I've got to. I just don't care. Yeah. Like, with that song, like, I just don't care. Like, there's, a, there's another guy that I know that does music. I just think he's so whack. I mean, I just think he's whack. But it's just like, because he's not my boy... <laughs> No, I think he's so whack. Like, you don't like, have to say it again. Bro. No, like, but the, the thing is, like, he would never know. I think that would, like, yeah, people would never know because yeah. I just don't go around saying it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just feel like he's whack. Like, I just don't get why he does music. I just don't get it. But then again, he may not be catering to my ears. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe mm. he has an audience that likes that sort of sound. Mm. But I just don't get it. I just mm. think it's bad. But do you know what I mean? Like, again, each to their own. I, She's not on that level, by the way. Like, I don't, I don't view those two on the same. Like, he's, yeah, yeah. To me, he's whack. Mm. She's not whack. It's just, it's not really for me, innit? Yeah, 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 it's preference, innit? Yeah, it's just preference at the end of the day. But people are taking a liking to it still. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I may use that yo 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 on a a quick. Banner, <laughs> not even banner, like on a quick like snap. I put as the back in oh, fair, on fair, TikTok. Fair, fair, not TikTok, fair, sorry, fair, on on us. Insta reels or something. Might just do that. Do you know what I mean? No, because it's catchy, isn't it? Like, it might, like, I like, does it? I like the yo, 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 but like, then the verse, I don't mean, yeah, I don't really, yeah, catch on to it too tough still, I'll be honest. Did you mind see the Shannon Sharp thing? Oh my days, yeah. Thank God. Thank God you brought Thank God you brought out, because I actually forgot about that. That's my Michelle. That's <laughs> my. <laughs> 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 What's that sound about, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Oh my dear. Me, but me, honestly, honestly speaking, I don't think it's an accident. I think it wasn't. It wasn't. Well, you think it was intentional? Yeah. Yeah. You can't go on Insta Live by accident, bro. Okay, yeah. cool. How, how, how do you do it? Let's go through the steps. You've opened the Instagram app. Swipe. Yeah, go on. No, no, no. Okay, let me just do that. Let me just do it on that one in case. The middle, middle button. Oh, you have to Swipe. go on there. Yes, yeah, wraps there, bottom right. Oh. It's easy. I'm not going to lie. It's easy. It's actually really, really easy. I'm oh, shit. Lie. It's oh, actually man. really easy. Man, it's man. actually a bit easier than that. That's I why thought. I don't think it's intentional. Nah, sure I still think it was intentional. Bro, it's two buttons. Nah, I'm like, starting... It's, it's literally... But how is it How is it, How is is it? it that he's on Instagram live... And he throws his phone. But his phone's here. I think he was drunk. Because he, he dashed his phone. Oh, he dashed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sort of started a clip. Oh. It was in his hand, I think. And he dashed it. So maybe like the corner of the bed and then just didn't turn off. Like, bro, it's two buttons. It's literally 
this, this, then bang, you're live. Okay, three points. Yeah, but like, would you not, when you press that, is it not showing your face? It can be, it can be showing. Yeah, but yeah, 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 fair enough. But like, you can see your recording something you're about to start let's say, recording let's say something. he wanted to post something on his insta story he could be on this this page right here yeah yeah and he's drunk he's distracted someone's chatting to me he swipes two to the right and then he taps it he's live it's so easy no, it's so i think it was easy. i think it was on purpose. i don't know I feel bro, like, people go live backs all the time i'm starting nah, 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 yeah they nah. do no nah, bro you ain't i don't i've never i don't it's sloppy but it happens bro bro what nah. i've done by accident is open a chat on Slack, for example, Snap. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's my accidents. I don't yeah. go on no TikTok live or Instagram live. But how does it serve? I can post something on TikTok by accident. I've done that before when I'm on Just, you want to save a draft, but you quickly post. Oh, yeah. Or you want to post something, you quickly post it before caption. Yeah. I can do that. But I ain't going on Instagram live by accident. I'm really... So why do you man think he did it intentionally? How does it serve him to do it intentionally? That's Humiliation like, ritual, talking man. About him. Oh, so like relevance. Yeah, Humiliation bro. ritual. Bro, humiliation ritual. ritual. Yeah, bro. I hear it though. I'm starting to believe it. No, man, I said start. No, 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 I said start. I've real. been believed. That, that was real. I've been believed it. That Shit, guy, but his podcast is one of the biggest in the world. Exactly. exactly. So he's getting to that stage now where, do you know what I mean? You like, have you to do think it. He was yeah. There for the, no, 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 no. Like he's still, he obviously, there. yeah, he was. Like yeah. he was doing all these interviews, but now he's, you know what I mean? Like he's remaining there, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so up, you know, the upper people there yeah. the, in them, them rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, yo, you want to be there and you want to remain here? Go <laughs> God, do something like that. Come on, it was just so random. Yeah, it was weird. Come on. No, it was just weird, bro. I was thinking, if he's not on ESPN, is he? He is. I swear, I think I he got fired. Because he, he was with Skip. No, oh, I never mind. He got fired. Oh. No, he went on ESPN with Skip. What was he on? He's on ESPN with Shannon. Shannon. Not Shannon. Um, I know. Oh, about. Um, what's his name? Charles. Not Charles. No. Nah. Oh, the NBA lot. Yeah. No, nah, he's with like, the yes guy that is. screams bear, bro. Um, <laughs> Did you not? Stephen A. Stephen yeah. A, yeah, yeah. He's on the NBA, am I confused? No, no he, he does, but that's not everything. I thought you were talking about like, the Shaq. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, Charles yeah, that crew. Is he not being Charles Barkley? Yeah, no. No, he's with... Um, I thought that's ESPN. Is it? With Stephen A? He is on ESPN. He's on ESPN. He is on, he's on ESPN. ESPN. He is on, he's on ESPN. <clears throat> but people saying he's going to get fired. People yeah, saying, oh, yeah, he's doing that. that to get fired so that he can just do full-time okay, other than that. But like, I don't think that's the Why case. Why don't he just leave? Why don't he just leave? leave? Obviously, contracts are not in it, but... Fair, fair. Either way, no. Yeah, I think I think I definitely think it's on purpose. I definitely think it's a... The humiliation ritual, I didn't go as far as that, but again, that makes sense. No, I that's, that's what it, it, it is, man. <laughs> I, I strongly believe that's no, what I strongly, I strongly agree with you though. No. But in terms of relevance, I don't think he needed to do something so extreme to stay relevant. No, and that you was that's, that's relevant. That, that was his point though. He said that he's bigger than a lot of the people saying that. He is. That said it was he did it on purpose. He is though. But then yeah, again, but... people are saying that he's um happy in French. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because of how he posed in one picture. So he said he like maybe he did that to prove that he's not. No, there's no way he didn't have to do that. So In it, that's extreme. Yeah. To, I mean, but people really thought that. he was though. Bro, so he, maybe he did it for that reason. I don't know. I just think he's one of the last people that needs something to stay relevant. Like he actually retired like what twenty plus years ago. <laughs> no, the thing is though, like, and he's still that shit. that alone can boost his impressions. And people are gonna tune in more to his show now. Do you know what I mean? Like he's, he he done what he needed to do if it was on purpose. If it was on purpose, because everything now tuned. Like his next episode probably went viral. What's it called? Nightcap. Night. Yeah, night stand. Yeah, nightcap. Yeah, nightcap. Still. Ultra Cinco. They're funny duos still, but apparently even before that episode, he must have gotten to Ultra about being late or whatever. Like he was doing it on the lap. On I the, saw something about. Yeah, that. still that wasn't great. Still. Like, was it proper? Like yeah. Yeah, sure apparently he was doing a bit of a mad thing. Shannon Sharp addresses his viral IG live mishap. Nightcap, 25 minute episode. Three days ago, 749k. <laughs> I mean, like. Thing is, yeah, he posted on his Insta story that, was, that he got hacked. No. Initially, he did. Did. He did. Yeah, he did. that was he a post did. that he just got hacked. Story. He said he got hacked, he took it down, and then he just, get me. Bro, his. Came in front of it. I'll be real. His thing, his show does a mad thing. Bro, on yeah, YouTube. I think ever since that Cat Williams episode, it's just been on a stupid... No, 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 yeah. The Cat Williams... Oh, that's Club Shay Shay, though. Not that Cat. Oh, yeah. There's two separate ones. There's two separate ones, bro. Club Shay Shay is a mad thing. That's even his inter- interview. Yeah. See, yeah. That's two platforms that he's cleaning up from. He's cleaning up. 
Nightcap is doing a bit better, but Club Shay Shay is still doing this. Oh, these are even clips, bro. Man did 1.4 million views on a clip. Yeah, you, 36 hit, minutes. We now hit YouTube. Now you've been... Bro, his, bro his, he's cleaning in. Because a million views is five bags. 5K dollars. Oh, yeah. Approximately, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Approximately. It's 5K. Bro, my man's cleaning. He did 6.2 million views. He did 6.2 million views on a 10... On a two-hour episode. 10 days ago. Bro, he's cleaned up minimum. Bro, he's cleaned up more than 30 bags for that. When was that? When was that clip? 10 days ago. It wasn't even, it's a two episode that he dropped. Then he's doing clips after that. 938k, 652k, 384, 750. Bro. Look at his numbers before even letting that clip come out. Bro, like, my he man is clean. He don't need it, but at the same time, bro, like. I don't need that, Michelle. I don't know. I do you think know. Michelle was white or black, though? Um, I think I found her page, though. <laughs> What? Yeah, I think I found it. She's light skin. But she's black, yeah. To answer the question. Let me find, Let me see so if you I... you found her page. No, yeah. Tick, you know TikTok will go... Do oh, thing. one of them ones in the comments. Yeah, something like... Yeah, yes. there we go. Apparently that's her, innit? <laughs> see what I mean? Bez. <laughs> Yo. Bez. Apparently that's her, sure. Fair enough. <laughs> 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 Tell me, man. But... That's He's funny, man. Man. My man's in his deep fifties as well. Fifty five, fifty six. Yeah, He's ten years older than. Always, than always Ocean. promoting um, um, booster for downstairs. <laughs> yeah, he's always, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's always promoting. What's good? What they call it? Diamonds. Even that, I even used to think he was married, but he wasn't, was he? Or I was he divorced? I actually have no clue. But he's got kids though. Yeah, he's got kids, but I have no clue about his relationship status. I'm not actually not. Ocho's the one. Ocho's, Ocho's engaged. Married. Ocho's married or, or married. engaged. Yeah, yeah. One, one of the two. two yeah. Yeah. Well, did you get me? I even forgot that he split from I Am Athlete. It was like it was time ago now, innit? No, he wasn't part of them. He was just always a guest, that's where. He was part of the show, bro. No, he was just a guest, bro. What do you mean he was a guest? He was he, there every week. No, he was a guest, bro. No, he wasn't, he went, bro. It was, it was it went uh, his Brandon. Show, it was Brandon's show. There was one other person that... Like, I think Brandon. He was the he was the he was the, the 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 brown skin guy, right? Dreads. Yeah. Yeah. yeah He's yeah. the one that cut to make a new show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the rest of them were still part of the show. The rest of them went to go and make a new show. Yeah, because they beefed. But didn't Shannon they? weren't. No, part no, no, Shannon. No, no, no. Not Shannon, Shannon was actually just a guest, bro. Not not, not Shannon, bro. Not Ocho, Shannon Ocho, bro. sorry, Ocho. Ocho. Ocho was just a guest, bro. He was. No, I'm telling you, bro. Ocho, Ocho weren't part of them. It was Brandon. It was Ocho. It was Fred Sutton. It was what's that guy's name? Channing. Channing something. And then the Ryan guy that's that's on that's on flipping TV in the NFL. Actually, the Ryan guy might have been a guest. I don't know, but Ocho was there for uh, a member, bro. Hundred. Bro, I didn't. I didn't think he was a member still, but fair. He just didn't join the new. What's that one called? New the pivot. Wave. The oh, pivot, something like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, America's weird still. They do a lot for clout still. So that's what they drink off still. So and I hear it pays, but I just I just can't do that. You can't. Do the most for clout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, know, yeah. I was going to say, know. like, if you in- involve money, but nah, there's, there's just certain things. No, nah, but like, you see like how people go on internet for beef, they'll do internet beef and all that. Like, just, yeah, nah. For clout. Yeah, nah. I'd rather just organically grow stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, if you want to start internet beef and get us 100k subs, innit? Mm-hmm. Let's go back and forth. Inbox us, innit? Back and forth online is crazy though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, not on my platform anyway. We'll that <laughs> word! We'll do it on the pod page, innit? Somewhere else, bruv. Pod page. Damn, man, copied our episodes still. Imagine what? podcast beef. Imagine, what's the closest thing we've had to podcast beef? It's not us personally, but like in the industry. Podcast beef? Yeah, like podcast v podcast. They ain't, they ain't really nah, been. Nah, they ain't ever seen them. <laughs> but that's because the podcast industry ain't like the music industry. Yeah. But it's then good. again, the music industry has been around for longer. Yeah, yeah. So, so eventually it could come. So it could come. Actually, oh, the, the closest thing is, people is internal beef. Yeah. yeah and yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, the Joe yeah, Budden. Yeah. That was the biggest one that I've seen. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to say like people leaving podcasts. No, 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 no. Like, yes. bro, the receipts don't compare to Joe Budden's thing, innit? So oh, you see when course, Joe Budden yeah. had the old... Oh, old, yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah, the big yeah. one that like, everyone was talking about. Like, we would have talked about if we were acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was big. We would have talked about that if we were doing our pod back then. That was big still. That was big. That's the biggest I've seen. Yeah, true. 
But all these podcasts getting big deals, like, you ain't going to see them beef, bro. Nah. It's more of a... Forget the beef, bro. You got bread now. You're on the yeah, contract now, bro. You better squash that. You better man. squash that quickly, still. But yeah, we have to wrap up, you know. Yeah, the flipping... The traffic got us. The traffic got us today, so it's a bit of a short episode today, but, you know. It's what it is. We can only, enjoy that one, still. I can only hope that next week's one is is longer, hopefully, because it's on a different day. Yeah. Hopefully there's no, less traffic. Not, bro. Yeah, it is, bro. Our next one is on the normal day. Then That's on a different one. day to today. Bro. Oh, my bad. Yeah, so, you know, you're so right. My you know apologies. Mean? So maybe that day's traffic will be less. Oh, my. Is there anything else I wanted to bring up quickly? Is it full time? Yeah. Arsenal 1-1-0. Yeah. Is there Plus, another game? Uh, Newcastle Wolves. 4 o'clock? Or 4 30? I think it's 4 30. Newcastle what? At home. I haven't eaten. Oh. Wait, quickly. You're not a real driver if you don't know how to drive a manual car, yes or no? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I can drive both, yes. though, so I don't yes. really care, but no. Can you legally drive both? No. There we go. That wasn't the question. Was it legally in the question? I mean, then... The What's question? this thing about they're freeing up people from prison? No, yeah, yeah, we didn't even talk about it? that, yeah. Huh? They're packed. The over, the over so phone. they're just letting people go? Yeah. I mean, and yeah. and still then non-violent uh, offenders. Yeah, non-violent was... offenders, but they just recalled somebody For after violence. he assaulted a woman the same yeah, day. Yeah. There we go. That was always going to happen, though. Yeah. Is, this our, is this our government that's doing this? That was always going to happen. Who's, who's running the these decisions? Yes. The government, yeah. yeah. Shout out to the government. How are the prisons overflowing? Because they arrest people for silly things and lock them up for, for sillier things. Overflowing? What crime do you think should be legalised? I, I don't. Like I don't know about crime. We didn't. I yeah. And yeah. Smart. I feel like it should you shouldn't be, be arresting people for smiling. Mm, yes, you should. It's because because of the accident that's been like if you, you you shouldn't arrest people for doing it, but if they're doing it while driving. Oh no no no! Oh yeah, yeah, that's different. That's you're different, driving and yeah. doing it. Do you know what I mean? But like if you're standing on the road, yeah, you know there mean? should be nothing wrong with that. I don't think I don't think you should be taken yeah. to jail for that. And you're in a cell, you're in jail. Have guys been licked for that? Yeah. Yeah. Now that it's been illegal, yeah, I, I, I don't know anybody personally that's been prosecuted. Oh, prosecuted! No. But like, I know people like that have been taken. Cells. Yeah, like they've been taken out of their car. They put in cells, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't think that should be. I don't think smoking should be one. Yeah, I say smoking. Uh, I mean, I feel like if you're entitled to do what you want, or the government just leak, they haven't, they haven't found a way to legalize it here. That's why yeah. they're still arresting us. Yeah, it's that's true. Like us, as if I'm a smoker, arresting people that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I had to clear that up quickly. I got people watching this, bro. Uh, I don't know what kind of crime I'd want legalized. But know? those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. Everything else, like yeah, cool, whatever. Isn't it? But now I'm speaking of speeding, but speeding should be a crime still. Not gonna lie. No, yeah, Again, speeding, 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 speeding is another speeding. one. I don't think it should be a crime. It right? should be a crime. Yeah. It should only be a crime if you've now. It should be over a certain something. limit, though. It shouldn't be over seventy, for example. Yeah, the limit needs to be increased, and I feel yeah. like people. Bro, what you've done is giving speeding tickets. Cool, keep it at that then. Why are you arresting people for it? Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a thing. Like, keep it at that. It should never be a thing where something as simple as speeding should now put me in jail. Yeah, put you in jail exactly. Yeah. Like, Especially if you haven't done anything. Like, if you didn't hit anyone no harm, or kill someone, yeah. Why why you put me in jail? You write me a ticket and let's yeah. go on my way. Do you know what I mean? We'll take away a license, stuff like that. But like, that's why we we'll go over crowding because they do. It's like we'll be repeat offenders. What about driving without a license? Let's say you're on a ban. Yeah, I, you, shouldn't go, you, shouldn't go you shouldn't go to prison for that. Still shouldn't go to, jail, shouldn't go to prison for that. Yeah, but there should, should be a, there should be a punishment. Yeah, yeah punishment. like a hefty fan or something Community like that. Yeah. Or yeah, something fine. like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah jail. Just, yeah, jail, jail should actually be like you are messed yeah, up. Jail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, jail. Separated from the public. Like protect the public. You know what I'm saying? If I get caught smoking like three or four times, you're putting me in jail for what? Like you put me in jail to go and smoke in jail. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, system man. No, it's man. Let's wrap it up before they pull us out. Yeah. Oh, you said there's people... They had four o'clock, yeah. Still, oh. so. But yeah, one four seven, I believe. What we say in pod is the TikTok, all of that good stuff. Everywhere, man. Check the polls, TikToks, reels, comments, all of that stuff, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your family members, man. Other than that, t Nine and Wooden Flex for coming, man. Thank you, people. Hustle, hustler. Stay with the hustle, my people. Stay, Stay with them, man. It's been your boy Benz on the booth. And Zo. And we'll see you on the next one still. Thank <laughs> you.